Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 25th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, where we look at space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, world weather forecast. Start now here, looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, bright regions cresting in, as well, earth-facing coronal hole. And we do have a couple solar flares to talk about. One of them you might have seen in the southern hemisphere there. Watch the left-hand side bright region. And that's where the solar flare was. M-class solar flare just under an M-class as well. This region here is proving to be pretty active. A couple minor flares ejecting from there. Looking at the outgoing imagery here. Pretty quiet in the outgoing position. Coronal holes now turning away. Amazing imagery coming from Solar Dynamics Observatory. This is all open source media for everybody. And this is the Daily Do, sharing it all together for you. Looking at multi-spectrum here, showing all of the events. You can see coronal hole, solar flare, and as well as CMEs when they happen. And then 171 angstroms here. You see the dark regions. Those are the coronal holes. Pretty deepened, and we've already seen the space weather effects, and we are due to see more. Looking at Alaska 2, showing the last 48 hours of imagery, and you'll be able to see on the left-hand side there, that's where the flare occurred, and it was a halo Earth-directed event. When you see all of that energy cresting all around the disk, that's heading our way. Solar X-ray flux, as I said, jumped up into just under M-class range. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated due to the coronal hole wind stream. Real-time solar wind sitting at 426 kilometers per second right now. Pretty jagged throughout the day. Looking at ISWA space prediction spiral, showing this M-class solar flare in an Earth-directed fashion ejected right at the BEPI satellite and on its way to Earth, which is the yellow circle there. And we'll be expecting that into the 29th and 30th of March. Or sorry, 27th, 28th of March. Schumann resonance for today is a low power of 8, amplitude of 8, quality of 9, power of five. Let's get to earthquakes here for the past 24 hours. We're going to start out with the largest earthquake today, and that was China with a 5.7 earthquake. Some sizable aftershocks to follow there. This 5.7, a 5.0, and a 4.5. So China seeing lots of activity. Calming down is southern Japan, 5.1 there, 5.2 reported Nami, Japan, as well minor activity moving northward. Indonesia is quite a hot spot today. Earthquakes all around the Banda Sea, so heads up in this very volcanic region through Indonesia. As well, Papua New Guinea seeing activity today, sizable, 5.4 4 at 110 kilometer depth. As well, a 5.0 there in Kimb just recently. 5.0 earthquake in Fiji, deepest earthquake today, 507 kilometer depth, as well as seeing a 5.3 there, Kermadec Islands. Hawaii, seismicity increasing. They saw a 3.3 there today. Having a quick look at the summit caldera of Kilauea, as it is pretty active leaking out a couple more lava tubes into the summit caldera. Carrying on here up into Alaska. Minor earthquakes are increasing through the region, so very numerous and minor though. West Coast, North America seeing Williams, California with a 3.7 as well. Pretty sizable here earthquake, a 4.6 northwestern Texas up into White City, New Mexico, as well, 
quite a few minor aftershocks through the region. Four point four here in Mexico as well, San Francisco, Mexico. Four point four there in Montelero, Panama, as well a four point five here in Guadalupe, east of Puerto Rico. Five point four here in Tuti, Peru, as well Chile with a four point one earthquake. There hasn't been many earthquakes down there into the South Sandwich Islands, expecting something soon. As well, very quiet across the African plate and up into Eurasia. Looking at about 250 earthquakes across the USGS map the last 24 hours. And this is a look at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. Also noting that there is seismicity increasing across La Palma off the coast of Spain and Africa. You might remember La Palma erupted quite a few months ago and may erupt again. We've seen about 50 earthquakes in the past 24 hours, but the same regions. And that is the last seven days for earthquakes across the world. Heads up, stay aware and prepared, and just have a plan. No fear here with daily events worldwide. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing most recent satellite imagery, as well noting out the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Reventador in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala, Semeru, Indonesia, Sabancaya in Peru, Nevada, Sicilian, Colombia, Krakatoa, Indonesia, Sangay in Ecuador, and Nevada, Sicilian is Colombia. As well, Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Talika, Nicaragua, Ibu, Indonesia. So that's about 12 volcanoes getting updated today. Still an active and erupting 53 volcanoes across the planet. Having a look, satellite imagery, still a pretty sizable system heading out into the Atlantic provinces. As well, big system pushing out of Japan into the central pacific right now we'll be penetrating the alaskan coastline in the long range watch for an uptick in seismicity tropical cyclone charlotte is no longer a named storm but we still have tropical uh, cyclone halima in the middle of the indian ocean heading southward it's a category two cyclone right now ramping up and that is a quick look around the world. Satellite imagery, the last 48 hours. I wanted to show you here, windy models showing some pretty big systems developing through the Pacific. Heading into Alaska, and this is where I will be expecting the uptick in seismicity through Alaska, Aleutian Islands, as that big monstrous system heads in. Looking at next Sunday for that to be penetrating the coastline of BC and Alaska. Southern Hemisphere definitely ramping up. Watch this big system under Africa. Pretty strong and sizable low stretching right to the Antarctic coastline from Africa. So it's going to be an interesting long range forecast to say the least. Trying to transition into spring. But the big polar vortex is not going to let that happen. Looking at the snowfall here for the next 3 to 10 days across eastern Canada and the United States. Looking at about 70 centimeters across parts of northern Ontario. And about 50 centimeters through northeastern United States up into Wisconsin. And as well all around the Great Lakes. Watch for flurries. Even snow down into Albuquerque, New Mexico, Phoenix, Arizona, and Sierra Nevadas. Lots of snow across the west right now, still at higher elevations. And then look at this, could see 485 centimeters of snow fall over the next 10 days on the coastlines of Anchorage. So heads up, Anchorage, you do have a pretty big snowfall storm heading towards you. Let's have a look at a quick 
forecast here. If you want a full detailed forecast, check out yesterday's video. But I wanted to show you this continuing developing storm, Alberta Clipper into Ontario. It's going to bring strong winds and as well extreme cold conditions, breaking cold records across Ontario for this date, March 25th, 2022. As well, pretty strong systems still coming into California coastline as forecasted in last night's video. South America, no major changes. Africa, no major changes. There's that big grinding low south of Africa. And then quick forecast here with Australia. Both coastlines getting penetrated by low pressure systems. One of them could be a cyclone in the long range. Please share this video today. And if you liked it, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.